That's like and like and subscribe and subscribe. <laughs> no help. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> this ends here for you. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. And this should be for like a little bit of extended one, but still mainly for our gear up readathon Friday. I'm a little bit tired, but also headachey. It's a b bag of emotions. I am though excited because a little bit less than an hour, I'm gonna go into my car and drive to the city center and pick up AJ, yay. We've not seen each other since way before <laughs> lockdown actually, or like pandemic more so. Um, so it's gonna be very exciting. I don't know how much I will be able to like actually like do, <laughs> but just hanging out is gonna be very fun. I'm excited for the readathon. I still need to kind of decide what book is doing what for me and what prompts I'm really taking. So I'm gonna speak to you about that, but I thought I will welcome you into the vlog and um, start it off. Hopefully I don't lose the SD card for this one. We'll see. <laughs> hello. Hi. <laughs> say hello. One more, say hello. Going for a little beach trip in a race against rain. <laughs> Hello, would you actually like to give a vlog update? Hello vlog, this is the first time I've spoken, this is not an update, this is an introduction. <laughs> we are currently working on Aurelium Readathon projects. Ooh, see yeah, boy. You've oversold it with Board of Madness. It's a very <laughs> <Or> structured, <really>? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do need to add that red thread for just it. for fun, <laughs> like, not, not, it means nothing. Why? This is like so concerned been up to you? Um, I've been working on descriptions for the specific careers that you can take within Aurelium. Hell yeah. So I hope you enjoy those. And that's what I've been working on. Mm -hmm. G's been doing everything else. So <laughs> it's been pretty easy for me. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> what have you been up to otherwise? Where have I taken you? Um, nowhere. Um, nice. I'm in a cage. <laughs> Please. Pretty light. We went to see some bridges. Queen's Ferry, I think. Yes, correct. Correct. Well um, done. And we also did a walk further down. Delightful. We walked in the rain and the wind. We enjoyed it. <laughs> it a was... typical Scottish experience. Exactly. That's, that's I what you signed up for. I couldn't have wanted any more. Satisfactory pasta. <laughs> Good, I'll take it. <laughs> Edible in all, in all leaves. <laughs> Again, satisfactory vegan pizza. You know? That's, that one's not on me, though. No. Not my fault. But hey, you're on the level of Domino's, so... Yeah, I'll take it. You're there. We played a lot of games. We did. I can't remember. I don't know the name of the game. Adventure something for d and Dungeon Mayhem is the other one. I do know the name uh, of that. Dungeon Mayhem. You there have actually won some. Many. I think you'll... No, oh, just like a couple. Correction. I think it's like two, two times you won. What? Don't trigger me. <laughs> Oh, sorry, is that some sort of oh. <laughs> Of all things. Get the game out now! Fine! <laughs> and now I am eagerly awaiting movie night with the patrons. Please subscribe. Like and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Oh my god, that was ages ago. It's the update. I should keep you here so you can do this for me as well. That would be great. None, no reading has been done, I, I don't believe. I guess we'll see what AG thinks of Day Tripper because that is the book that I am making him absolutely voluntarily read. <laughs> yep. No guns involved. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Help. <laughs> No help. No. Shh, shh. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hope you're good. We're going to find the Holy Grail. It's true. Who are you 
literally just told me re wreath. Roslyn. 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 <laughs> da Vinci Code stuff is happened. Ha is happened. Has happened. Currently on a journey. And did you say there's other stuff there that you wanted to see as well? There's like a country park. Quarter um, of a mile. Turn right onto A701. Okay. Slide. Slide right. Slide to the left. But that's it. That's that's the update. Do I have anything else to update? I don't think so. No. I don't know. We played some games last night. We might play games more later. It's my last yes, day. Yes, we will play tomorrow. games. Enjoy this sweet montage you're about to see. Oh, there's not much to show. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know why I'm filming this. Of a mile. Wake up, Shiva. Oh, there's one brown one. That's. Da da dum. Da da dum. That's it. That's the clip. That's the update. Da da da. Oh my god. It's cause the, is it because the door's open? Yeah. Oh, okay. But we're here. Da da da. sound effects. Let's get out. <laughs> it's like some royalty. <laughs> I'm gonna be very good at waving. I think is what I called it. And, uh, Lack yeah. of order is amazing. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, violent order as well. There's stories of a master apprentice. People don't like their creative shit being like yeah. messed with. And that is and a master uh, fighting. One of them got a mallet to the head. So. <laughs> yeah, there's like these two pillars, which I might find online because like we couldn't take as done by apprentice, but <laughs> without like consent. According to the story, which may or may not be true. Um, the master then got really annoyed and killed the apprentice, so worth it though. <laughs> Checking what's on the menu. We have a badger, a green woodpecker, buzzard, a butterfly, scary, carpet factory. Oh, <laughs> you take me to the most lovely places. So there is a castle that we could find if we can find it. Where are we? Why does it not say where we are? Carpet oh, factory is oh, where that we is parked a, that. Is the carpet factory, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How beautiful. We try and find the castle then. So this would be somewhere that direction. Science would be nice. Yeah. Where hey, do people even start? You know your directions. Oh yeah, of course. Just head east. <laughs> Are you afraid to be in the woods with me? Very much. Uh, this is As what you I should feared be. most. But you know what they say? If Ooh, you are... At least you got to see a carpet factory. <laughs> There's no path here. <laughs> this ends here for you. <laughs> has read Day Tripper whilst everyone slept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thoughts and feelings? Yeah, I loved it. it was great. Yay! <laughs> Very enjoyable. I hope so. Isn't it like a hidden gem? Well, it's not really hidden, but isn't it a gem? It is. It is a gem. Yeah, I really enjoyed it and I cried 
There was a mosh. What did you put at the very end or just um, somewhere there, else? Was, there were three bits. I can only remember two now. Such is my terrible memory. But uh, one was when he would just drive into Rio to get his friend. Oh, and 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 then yeah, maybe and then the third one was yeah, like the the end with feels. Yeah, but it's good, right? Like it's yeah. all very human. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like this it. is what I was hoping from kind of Midnight Library. Do you, mm. do you see what I'm saying though? Yeah, yeah. It's different, obviously, and the mechanism is different, but like the kind of point. Yeah, I yeah, it's it's very similar concepts. Yeah. Um, but yeah. one is much better than the other, yeah. I would say. I think and for a comic to get that kind of emotional... I yeah, I've never had that from a comic before, so I did enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's that? Don't find the nail good punch. Yeah, I feel like with the Midnight Library, also one of the things I didn't like about it, was like the aspect that it included that concept with mental health. So it's like, mm. at the end of it, it was like, oh... You know, there's many different ways your life could go, so don't have depression anymore. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't think that was necessarily I the point. I think that was what it was. Uh, I think that's what it was. Because she was, she was, like, depressed and, like, how her life was and, like... I don't think that different... she was healed at the end, per se, but I think her... Um, I think her anxiety stemmed from regret, and this mm. was to show that regret is kind of pointless. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't love it either. It was like no, a very low three star. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy this though. It was good. It was I am very glad. Enjoyable, and yeah, five pro- stars. Probably, uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, probably. Hell yeah. Probably my favorite comic that I've read because you know. Hell yeah. Emotion. Overall, such win. <laughs> yeah, Momo. 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 Hi. You don't know things. <laughs> very good. Have you read anything else that they've done? No. I don't know if they have done anything else. I, I have, have to I look a, I had a quick look. Uh-huh. They've done a lot of like normal superhero, you know, artist mm. stuff, I'm guessing. And I think they've done another one together called Brothers or something like that, which makes sense. Maybe that. Brothers. Good, good stuff. Yeah. It was, I'm uh, glad that you liked you know, it. Nice, nice to start my day with tears. It's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, good. any minute, no one's going to walk through and I just go, <laughs> <laughs> about to leave oh my god this is very zoomed in because you were far away <laughs> having to go back to work but i should really decide has day tripper fit any of your prompts maybe you have already smashed half of the mini readathon i, I know me, 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 me neither okay so this is my um tbr but i also have meet cute i believe like a little rom-com thing um i just don't have it physically um, but I'm going to a bookshop today, so maybe I'll find it. This would be slightly cheating, I think, because I don't have that much left. However, I don't know. I'm still working on the other readers, so I might allow myself to cheat a bit, um, depending on the other choices. Um, and okay, so I need a standalone. It's either an astral plane, the psychic plane that I say, no multiverse. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do for my conduit. I'm gonna read Meet Cute. And then for the multiverse, I'm gonna read this. So that is my TBR. Either get an ebook of the other one or locate it in the store when I'm picking Gallon today, either way. So we shall see. Do you know what would you read? I'm not. I'm just looking at Goodreads now to try and figure it out. I what need, are your prompts? I need a book that's part of a quartet and um, something with a Black Panther on the cover. Oh my god. It could just be. Any cat. I mean, I'm if sure. If you they'll... need to, maybe sh- there's like a Black Panther comic or something. Oh yeah, that's not a bad shout. <laughs> Never not Sanderson. Oh. Cytonic. third book in the quartet. S- Skywood quartet. I think so. I don't actually know. Maybe. <laughs> but yes, apparently Skywood is a quartet. Woohoo! I wasn't filming. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Well, we have said goodbye to AJ. My head is getting a bit painful though, so that's not good. Um, but I'm, since I'm already in town, I'm going to try and make my way to the bookstore so I can pick up Gallant, go home and go work in the afternoon.
<laughs> picked up the book um, and I really wanted to peruse a little bit more but I had like this weird tickle specifically that moment in my throat so I started coughing and I know how you know I don't want to make people uncomfortable so I left Let's see how it looks like Ugh. I have heard people say it's much smaller than they thought and I can definitely see that already <laughs> That is very pretty. So we have this cover, these edges, which are really cute, and it goes all the way as well, which is fairly rare. Um, under the, ooh, pretty, we have end papers. Um, looks like that. And the naked cover has the foil. This is like a fairy loot edition. <laughs> the second end paper is the same, I think. Yeah, it's the exact same. Spine. I love it. It's a small size, which I know not everyone loves, but I actually really, really like. And we have the tipping page, which swaps signature. Cute. I love it. I'm actually excited to read this. It doesn't seem to be super long, which is also nice. I don't know if it's a standalone, but I'm kind of hoping that it is. Very nice. Overall, very happy. <laughs> happy I picked it up, so it would be probably perfect for a readathon. So that's good. I was thinking I will nap because I'm so shattered. <laughs> but I'm actually gonna drive to the town and pick Logan up from work because he is being forced to go back into the office. And, uh, and I'm trying to be the nicest me I can ever be, <laughs> so. So I'm, I'm really, really shattered and really struggling to do anything. But it is Tuesday already, and I've read absolutely nothing for the readathon, so it's not the best of starts. And I only have a week, and I have two books. Um, I am, though, considering counting Neverwhere for one of them, just because I'm also going to spend a significant amount of time during this week preparing for, oh, sorry, April. And I feel like, um, but maybe... Maybe not. So that would be in, instead of the... Yeah, okay, I will I will figure out what to do at the end of the week. And then it will all depend on how I'm going with ooh, this. And if I have time for the other one or not. Um, if I don't, I'm going to go with Neverwhere because that's also a standalone. Same as the Meet Cute. And this is for the sci-fi prompt. So I think I'm going to start at least... I want to read like at least a chapter. Um, because I feel way too bad the fact that it's Tuesday and I've not started. So, and it's my readathon. It's just the jacket. This get going. This is this from what I remember, which is not a law. Um, I think there is weird statues that appear throughout the world and people make like social media posts about it. And, um, I'm not quite sure what exactly this is about so i'm going to update you as i go and as i figure out myself what it is about um but i do know that i have had this on my tbr for a um embarrassingly long time especially because i kept putting it on my on my tbr i kept also back in the day when the patreon picks were picked by me and not by you guys uh i kept putting that on there and it never won so actually it's my patreon's fault it's not my i will not take any responsibility for the fact that i'm not ready yet um that that works for me i think i like that we'll go with that but yeah it's basically what i'm saying is that it is entirely overdue not gonna lie do you have high expectations so that's possibly not good but um, we'll just we'll just have to see morning let me update you on the reading so oops. as i said i'm reading um an absolutely remarkable thing i am currently here even using a bookmark and all <laughs> chapter 16 i don't have too much left i might actually do some reading now i'm not sure um other than that i'm actually working on um continuously working on the readathon i am in a good stage but it is already 18th so i don't know it's gonna be a short notice it's gonna be a short notice today is gonna be pretty much just working on that <laughs> that's that's my plan today sorry for the voice i just woke up it's like eight o'clock <laughs> I'm actually really, really enjoying it. It's very easy to get into. This is absolutely a soft sci-fi. You don't really need to understand much. Um, and as I said, this is about like a girl who uh, she's dating one of her friends and then the other one, like they just kind of like a trio. She and the guy um, 
film this massive statue that appears and she's like the first one to actually interact with it. Hell breaks loose from there, the video goes viral, she gets really rich, she gets the fame into her head, she really... like this is all her recounting it from when she realizes her mistakes but we are looking through the mistakes and I like that the narration actually says like, oh, you're not gonna like me. I'm like, you'll see, but you, you won't like me, but I'm trying to make you hate me less. Um, and that's true. She's not a very likable character, which is actually kind of interesting and different to read. Like she makes decisions that are infuriating. She treats people in ways that are annoying. She says things that come across very self inflammatory. Yeah, we have these Carls, she names the statue Carl and it just kind of sticks and there's so many across the world um, and at the end they just you just kind of think that they are from outer space and everyone starts having a collective dream. Um, in these dreams people are kind of forced to work together with these sequences and puzzles to solve them and as of course this is Earth so there's obviously opposition like uh, we are team, they are friendly and then there's themes of like this is dangerous, what are you doing? Interesting. It's very interesting. Sometimes it does lean a little bit too contemporary with the jargon and or like the, the way that everyone speaks. It's a bit, sometimes it's a little bit like just a smidge too far. But overall, I am actually very enjoying it and I am combining physical with audio and just having a good time. Honestly, it's, it's, it's good. However, it is now Saturday and I'm still to finish the first book, which I am thinking I'm going to do today. Um, but because I'm working on the readathon, I think I will allow myself to count Everwear as my standalone. And I, I could read a contemporary during this weekend, but not while simultaneously making good progress on the readathon. And I think we're all gonna agree that that is a bit more important. <laughs> I hope. First of all, I have finished the book. I really enjoyed it. I also really like the end and I do now really want to just go into the second one. I think it's a duology from what I've seen. We are very excited. Um, I might actually try and fit that in the next month TBR because I definitely have enough books to read still in this one. So I'm not gonna go into that, but I do really want to... I also just got something super excited and uh, exciting. I am super excited in the mail and that is... Oh, hell you, I've been waiting to see this in person. Oh, so long. Okay, how do I even show you? <laughs> Look at this. I don't know if I can show you the way that it is in person because it's so foily. But like, how do I show you the foil? Like that, I think. We have like black edges, but the whole front is this type of foil. We have the end papers. We have little... Oh, look at those little eyes. But I'm mainly just excited <laughs> for the foil. Look at that. So we have the second one that's red, also signed. This is the underneath. I just love how sophisticated they look. Like this art deco is serving looks. And then this is the last one. I really can't tell you how pretty this is in person. <laughs> Like, it's very hard to show, but it's so pretty. Ooh, okay. Um, anyway, I've just sat down. I have my energy drink. Um, it's currently 11, well, 10 to 12. Uh, but I finished the book. I'm fueled and ready to get going. I might, um, might join some sprints. I'm not sure if they're just for people who are reading, because I'm not. Um, but I just got this, and I wanted to show you, because it's... It's so exciting. Hello, I am here to actually close off this vlog. I'm a little bit late, but I've just literally been working on um, the new readathon and the careers for that. So I'm actually, I didn't have much to update you on, but I have the second book and I did go for Neverwhere. And honestly, I, I really appreciate, this is gonna be a very odd one for me because I really appreciate the masterful way that it's obviously done. And I understand the message behind it. It's very important and beautifully done, but I think, the fact of the matter is that I really don't like travel books. And this, when you unpack it, is just like a travel book. They're just constantly on the move. And not only that, I felt like it was very 
aimless. Um, and I, I just don't thrive on that type of setup. I don't find it interesting, which is weird because I think the writing is beautiful, although it is verging on like very whimsy where I don't prefer it that way. There's so many things here that are quirky. <laughs> and sometimes when it's too much of that, I just lose interest. So I actually really loved the beginning. I thought I, 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 I First of all, I tried reading this back in like 2019 or 20, 20, I think, um, and stopped for like no reason. But now I'm thinking maybe there was a little bit of a reason that at least I didn't continue because it was basically that other TBR overtook it and this one didn't fit in in there. Um, but I think if I wanted to, I would have continued either way. And I think around the middle point is where my interest really, really drops. So whilst I was very intrigued at the start and liked everything about the setup, it really became so repetitive for me in the middle. And I know this is gonna be <laughs> entirely an unpopular opinion and I appreciate that, but it is my opinion. So there we have it. I don't know what the rating is gonna be. It's gonna be all over the place because some categories will still rank fairly high because again, I appreciate and acknowledge uh, the masterful stuff in here. I just, when it comes to like personal <laughs> intrigue and enjoyment is not gonna be probably very high. I also think that I've not shouted out people who joined the Mooney Watchers <laughs> or Mooney Messenger tiers or have upgraded from the other tiers to those tiers. So I wanted to say the warmest welcome to them now, even though I've probably already spoken to them somewhere else. I'm gonna read it, so that's hands the ice. <laughs> Chelsea, Debbie, Haley, Emily, Marta, uh, Simona, Julie, Jen, Ido, I, I, Ido, I think, Alexandria, Sarah, Allison, and Nalani. I hope you guys will enjoy the space. I will chat to you there and uh, thank you so much for your support. But I think this is going to be wrapped up now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this mini readathon was quite fun and the bigger one coming very, very soon working hard to make that happen. Let me know how it went. I will chat to you down in the comments and I'll see you very soon. Bye.